right, all 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 right. You know, I've done a lot of career simulations, but there is still one that I have yet to do. Okay, well, yes, I have done NBA meme players like Taco and Bull Bull, but I have never went to the furthest extent to just straight up make the worst player possible. Now, this has been very heavily requested of me for a long, long time, most notably uh, just like a week ago. I'll put the comment up on the screen. And well, who the hell else better to do it with than uh, Brian Scalabrini, who most would consider the meme god. 20 year old, six foot nine, 241 pound, D minus overall. And just to clarify, that's a 40. I mean, think about it. This whole draft class is a bunch of people and uh, not one other person is a D minus. But you might see that someone like a uh, Ralph Benjamin here is ranked 150th and Scalabrini is 99. Now, why the hell would that be? For God's sake, it's because he has a 99 potential. The guy has the potential to become a god. And well, I've done absolutely everything to uh, A, make him as bad as possible to begin and B, set him up for complete success in the long term. His hot zones are all cold, so they're not really hot zones. And I mean, just in general, he's Scalabrini, you know? He's not good. Like, he's great at memes, but he's not really good at the whole... I mean, yes, he's good at basketball. Like, he's better than me and you, but unless for like some reason Jason Tatum has happened to watch this video right now. Okay, no, maybe he's not better than you. And I made him even worse. So that's it. We're going to see what would happen if this guy can basically go from um Brian Scalabrini, but divided by two, into, uh, well, basically Jacob Underwood 2.0, but a power forward. And maybe I'll make him a point guard if he's that good. I don't know. So, you know, I hate saying without further ado, because it feels like the most generic thing to say when you're moving on to something new, but uh, without further ado, we don't care about the draft lottery because uh, we don't have any sort of value here. I don't, know if, I don't even know if he's going to get drafted. You want to just simulate the draft to save my own time? Eh, I'll watch it. Screw it. And obviously, yes, this is a 2020 draft class, so uh, yeah, you get it. Breaking news, the first round is over and he has not been drafted. We are nearing number 50 and he has still not been drafted. Number 54, Kira Lewis, 55, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Lamonte Turner, Samuel Williamson, not Zion, Peyton Pritchard, Tyler Bay, and number 60, the Pelicans. Do you want a steal, please? Oh, Sharif O'Neal. I mean, that's kind of a steal from LSU. Wait, LSU, that's Louisiana State, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, you went to New Orleans. Great job. I don't know why I care. Well, he didn't get drafted. See, now based off his current overall, he should probably just retire right now, but for the time being, you still got some hope, you know, but uh, let's see if he actually signs with a team first before I actually force him onto one, right? Because obviously that's what we're going to do here. If not, the guy's going to retire without knowing his full potential. That's kind of sad. It's like a really like deep parallel. It's like when Lauren Hill quit after the miseducation. Okay. Whoa. He signed with the Celtics. A one year, 1.4 mil deal, aka a two way deal. If you don't know, um, he's obviously, you know, the Celtic guy and he also commentates the Celtics game, I believe. So uh, yeah, makes sense. Destiny has been fulfilled. Boston, will you do right by my guy or will you like cut him before the season starts? Let's see. All right, cool. He's still in the Celtics and they're going to keep him down the G League along with, uh, you know, Peyton Pritchard. Cool. Well, uh, this is season number one. Brian Scalabrini, one-time All-Star. Uh, okay, okay. We know, we know. Hey, look who it is. Jason Tatum. Let's see how he's doing in the G League. He's a 41. Oh, boy. Improvement. He's averaging 10 points and 7 rebounds on 30% from the field and 11% from downtown. And 38 from the line. He's fantastic. It's exactly how he wanted him. Hey, it's the MVP guy. Lamelo And his Cantor six man of the year. I feel like I've never seen this before. Hey, Kenny. Scalabrini's a 44 now. We're in the playoffs, though, so I can't check his G League stats. But it's whatever. We know he's a god. Kinda. Not really. Congratulations, Greek man. Andrew Harrison retired. Old Blazers coaching staff is out of here. Pelicans, congrats. You got another first pick. The Celtics trainers are covered in injury concern with Scottie Pippen Jr. in his ankle. Yeah, the injuries are off, my guy. You, leave me alone. Cade Cunningham and Zion. That's pretty scary. Not scary enough for, uh, well, Brian Scalabrini. But, uh, you know, Scal, he, he can leave now. Well, the bigger question is, can he actually get another contract? I don't know. We will have to wait and see. Let's see. Is he still here? Yep, he's still here. Wait, he got an offer? Oh, he's a restricted free agent. It's Boston. Come on. On now. You know what to do. Wait, that means they gave him the qualifying offer. Is he going to come back? Yes. Now, granted, they might cut him in like 12 seconds, but um, he got a full guaranteed deal with the Celtics. He is a bronze volume shooter now. Brian Scalabrini must love that home cooking. Celtics fans, rejoice. Celtics Nation, time to celebrate. Okay, we, my guy, you, you didn't play. All right. You know what? Uh, I gave him the, I just realized his cold zones are still on. Like, they didn't actually fade away. I thought they were kind of like formulating to something better, but you know, I mean, we got to help out our guy, right? And we'll, we'll make him neutral. We'll make him neutral. I just won't screw you over completely. Season number two. Um, he's not in the G League. Are they going to like play my guy? Nope. He's in the reserves. Maybe they'll figure it out eventually. If not, then what the hell? What's the point? All right, Brian Scalabrini, two-time also. You know, light work. I wish. Did he ever go to the G League? Oh yeah, they did send him down. He averaged a fantastic 11 points on a 27% shooting in the G League. Great. He's a 48 for the time being. He still has a lot of time to nourish. D. Schrode, Onyeka, Mikey B. Remember Maddie B? Yeah, me neither. Mat 
Matisse Thibu, Ibu Dianko Baji. Can you get a ring while like in the G League maybe, please? No, we lost in the second round. <laughs> I'm leaning towards re-signing with the team once the season over. Well, yeah, where the hell is he going to go? Rajon Rondo retired. What's the word? You think he will make the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I mean, he's like good at the whole passing thing and did the cool like behind the back thing. Pelicans, why are you guys bad again? My God. Oh, wait, it's Phoenix pick. Never mind. Wait, no, you have the Phoenix pick and your own. You guys suck. Are we seeing one of the greatest super teams we've ever seen formed? They have Zion, Kuminga, and uh, and Holmgren, and, and Zion. And wait, I said Zion twice. You remember. I don't know. I forgot. All right, Brian, what's the word? He is not getting any offers. You guys don't see this A-plus potential? The 83 durability? Yeah, um, he's not going to get signed, is he? He got signed? Where the hell did he went back to the Celtics? On a two-way deal once again. Celtics Nation, time to celebrate. Scalabrini just signed on the dotted line. He's back. I love the exclamation point for a guy who's a 48 overall. Wow, they're really rocking with Scal. He is now a 49 overall. His best attributes are in the 40s now rather than 25. So, you know, he's rapidly improving. He does have yet to play a game, though. So he's still years pro zero, which means whenever he does play, he's going to have a chance to, like, you know, win rookie of the year. He has silver volume shooter now. You know, he's just shooting a lot. He can't really make the shot just yet. And if you're wondering when it comes to the team, um, we have Rodney Hood now. Andre Drummond, three-time All-Star. Oh boy, how is he flourishing in the G League this year? 52, yes. Averaging 11 and uh, tw on 26% from the field. Luca, Imani, Tere, Eddy, Caleb Love, and Kenny. All NBA first team, Giannis and Tedekumpo. Th there's no significance here. I, I don't know why I said it. You know you're good when you're a draft in stash and you make the all-rookie second team. Alright, boss, you guys want to do something real quick? Wait, are, are they, they're not even in the playoffs. Well, you've disappointed me. What? So you're telling me the Bitcoin battle really is worth it? The Spurs got Spencer Dinwiddie won the championship led by him. The hell? They got Spencer Dinwiddie and Rudy Gobert. They got the two players that have made the most noise in national lockdown. Now all they need is Jamal Murray. Marcus Gasol retired. Oh no, not Steve Clifford. All right, like, can we get the first pick this year? That'd be cool. No, the Kings, great, the Kings. Well, uh, speaking of we, um, we never know if this is actually our team or not because he can always leave. Like, uh, you know, he, he's back in, wait, what? Where is he? Is he just not the worst player anymore or am I tripping? Uh, okay, yeah, he's just not the worst player. He's a 54 now, which isn't that bad. I mean, yes, it's awful, but it's not the worst. All right, will he get a contract? Um, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see on the next episode or whatever the hell. Yup. Once again, back on another two-way deal with the Celtics. It's like they know that this guy was a meme for them in his past life, and they're just trying to help him out. Hey, Celtics fans, better get used to my mug. They're not used to your mug. The main red claw is used to your mug. He's a 55 overall. He now has volume shooter on gold, and a 53 three-point shot and midi. Season number whatever the hell, honestly. He's 23. That's all you need to know. But I think this is number four, right? Who the hell knows? DeAndre Aiden, one-time All-Star. If only we could see, like, the G League three-point contest. Maybe he's winning that. How did our G League man do? He's a 63. Oh, he's averaging 18, 7, and 3 in the uh, G League on 33% from the field. Yeah, it makes sense. He's slowly but surely becoming a decent NBA player, but uh, not for a minute, though. Hello, father of Riley, Mr. Valentine. Bo Bo, the king himself, sixth man of the year. Jarrett Culver, most improved player. This looks more like a school photo than an NBA photo. Taylor Jenkins, incredible. Dale. Oh, my God. Why can't we ever win a ring? Hello. I don't have any more, like, aliases for you. You're just, you, you do so much. Stop. So, wait, he's feeling restless about how things are around here, but this is my contract year as of right now. I'm thinking I want to come back. How does that make sense? I don't really care. As long as you got, like, a place to stay. Justin Patton retired. Oh, boy, the draft lottery. The Thunder got the first. Oh, of course, the Clippers screwed up. You guys got injured Paul George and traded away Shea in the first pick. Fantastic. Nando Mancuso. Is he going to replace Scalabrini? Well, I, I doubt it. They're not offering him the qualifying offer. That's kind of scary. But he's probably going to get a contract somewhere. I mean, he's not even close to the worst player anymore. He has two offers. Oh, wait. It's the Celtics and the restricted free agency from the Celtics. Okay, never mind. They, they did give him the qualifying offer, I guess. He's coming back again. You know you're good when you get reset on the first day of free agency every single time around. Well, not every time, but you know what I mean. Scalabrini is a 64 and only 24 years old still. This is my contract year. Every year is your contract year. Rumor around the water cooler. He's back. He now has a 63-3 and a 64 mid-range. His highest attribute is actually his uh, offensive consistency at 67. Works with me. He has Hall of Fame volume shooter and nothing else. Not one other bad. That's actually incredible. Season number, uh, I don't know, what is this, 5-6? I don't, we don't know. You know, maybe, but I don't. I've been here for like 30 minutes and I don't know what the hell's going on. Devin Booker, one-time All-Star. I feel like I have to teach myself to like him again after that Mellow video. Oh boy, blockbuster move. The Suns call up Henry Cheeks from the G League. He's literally Cheeks. Why would you ever want to call this man up? My favorite time of the year that we're nearing up on, uh, the day where it's the last day of the season we could check his G League stats. That's what we're living on for now. He's a 70 overall, averaging 19, 8, and 4 in the G League on 34% from the field. I mean, hey, uh, he, he's uh, doing stuff. That's as far as I can go right now. I mean, he's, he's the volume shooter king. But yeah, I mean, he's a 70 overall. He's finally starting to become like a rotational piece. It's about time, right? Hello, Douglas, Bull Bull King. Why is there like an I before the A? 
Zay? Like, why is it not just Zaire like Zaire Wade? Like, why not? I don't know. I won't question it. Actually, I will question what his parents did. I do that all the time. Yves Pons. Why did we miss the playoffs again? Why, what's the point? We are Boston, you know. We're supposed to be good at the whole basketball thing. Kyrie. Speaking of Boston and stuff. Dragon Bender retired. He's definitely a player that should have retired during the draft lottery. Timberwolves still getting number one picks because they're awful. Just destiny. Remember when the Timberwolves like, were like the number one hype team? Everyone thought that Wiggins and Towns was going to be the greatest duo of all time. Here we go. Is it finally time? He's getting a qualifying offer for the first time. The Celtics re-signed Marvin Craig, but not Scalabrini yet. Um, He still doesn't have a deal. The Celtics renounced their rights to Scalabrini. The Celtics have let go of Brian himself, and he signed with nobody. He's a 71 overall, still with the strong A-plus potential, and actually has a 74-3 and a 75 midi, so he's like actually genuinely kind of good. But uh, he's in that stage where, well, uh, I don't know. He just didn't get a contract yet, yet, definitely yet. S-C-A-L. Yeah, he does. He still didn't sign anywhere. So this is where, well, uh, actually, we'll, we'll simulate like a few weeks and then see what happens, right? S-C-A-L. That's the Scalabrini guy. Not Scalo. Scal. Scal. All right, he didn't sign anywhere. So this is what happens, right? I am going to ask Siri, uh, you know, pick a number one through 30. 29. Hey, guess what? She said 29. And well, that would be the Golden State Warriors, for God's sake. So we have to trust the Warriors, who's going to go and sign him right now. Do right by our guy. You can offer a two-way contract if you want. Um, uh, well, he doesn't want a two-way contract, actually. Yeah, sorry, Michael Carter Williams, but uh, you're the least valuable player on this team, so you yeah, needed your roster spot real quick. I went to go sign him, and uh, he, he, he doesn't want this. So he's going to have to figure it out. It's really that simple. I mean, he still has the 99 potential. Sorry, Michael Carter Williams. The sacrificial lamb for, uh, well, roster space for oxygen. Hello, Steph. Christos Diamanamanama. Six man of the year, De'Aaron Fox, because why the hell not? Kenny. Yep, Scal never went anywhere, and uh, he never went to the G League or anything like that. Nothing exciting this year. Great career decision. Hello, Uncle Drew. Michael Carter Williams retired. David Fisdale will never not end up on the Kings. I don't understand it. Miami must have fell off a cliff to be worse than the Wizards. Frederick Dupin, 85 overall from uh, France. All right, Scal, where the hell are you going this year? If anywhere. He's a 74 now, but has no offers for the time being. He's even classified as a stretch four now. He's making vast improvements. But yeah, still no uh, contract, you know? Yeah, let's just see if anything happens, you know? Please. Brian Scalabrini, three year, about $15 million deal with the Philadelphia 76. The team finally believed in him and they will I mean it is a team with the process it's a done deal folks 77 overall improves a lot in his shooting categories which uh not that surprising you know that's kind of what he's supposed to be good at and uh, he, he's smarter his IQ went up he still has just hall of fame volume shooter but he needs to actually play an NBA game first before he gets more you know he's not in the rotation out the gates but he's got some time you know I feel disturbed how do you feel disturbed you finally got a deal a couple different little birdies tell me that Brian Scalabrini wants to get out of Philadelphia now hashtag revolt literally everyone is saying that he's pissed I'm happy here in Philadelphia. Well, uh, the media would say differently. Guess what? He actually played. He has a plus minus of 72. Okay, I'm kidding. That was his per 36 minute stats. He played in one game for one minute and had, uh, um, well, that was it. He did nothing. Only 24 games in though, you know. I think he's like one year off from finally breaking through. All right, Luca, calm down. You don't got to average 41 points a game. You could relax. Vlade Lekic, Guy, Rick, Ayanku pa Paunescu. Calabrini's at 78 now, but um, still only played in two games this season, so he's got some work to do. Can we get one of those ring things, please? Uh, no, we lost in the first round to the Pistons out of all teams. Well, I guess Luka averaged 40 some for a reason. Corey Joseph retired. So Rick Carlisle won coach of the year, then won the championship, and then retired. Sounds like a good way to go out. The Celtics are the... What? You guys should have kept Brian. Brian Scalabrini, 81 overall at 27 years old. He's still got a lot of his, uh, well, prime days left. Wait, he's the best power forward on the team. Oh boy, get to the season already. I'm excited. You gotta be kidding me. You're starting, uh, oh god, I'll never know how to pronounce this, but, um, you're starting him over Scal? Whatever, he's still getting a 20 minutes a game off the bench. Well, it'll probably be starting in no time as we move into season number, I guess, two now. Technically, this is like season number eight, but whatever. He is starting a few weeks in, and he is now averaging 16 points, five rebounds on 42% shooting. Yeah, he's starting at eight in the 15 games, and we finally, after eight years, see our guy in a rotation. Now, he just needs to become the greatest player of all time. Brian Scalabrini, all-star starter. I wish it'll happen soon. Uh, they traded him. They traded Scalabrini. Yep. Brian Scalabrini. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. The Celtics came back and hunted this man down. Once he was good, they got Scalabrini for a first round pick. And guess what? He's just short of the Celtics rotation. Just our luck. But hey, time will tell uh, stuff. Frederick Dupin. My god. The guy was
was a draft and stash and ended up a 91 overall rookie. Malcolm, Sergi Postnov, Mauricio Gonzalez, and we're the eighth seed. Skylar actually did make it into the rotation eventually, but he's shooting 41% from the field. How will he do in the playoffs? Yeah, we lost 4-1. He averaged an astounding 7 points and 2 rebounds and 2 assists. On 46%, not that bad. And 40 from 3. Solid enough. Darius Garland, finals MVP. Rudolph Aldridge retired. Scal is an 84 overall. He now has bronze hot zone hunter. Ah, uh, yes. A plethora of badges. What we've been waiting for. Season number 3, I guess. I need to choose. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll go with 3, right? Hmm. Playing Tatum at power forward? Yeah, nah. Tatum, move. You can be up at 96 now. It's incredible. Make room for the king. Uh, oh, the, oh, they're still playing at power forward? All right, fine. You got Wendell Gilbert at small forward. So you think he's more valuable than Scal? Okay, fine. Maybe you're right. But Scal Labrini is the sixth man. This should be our first full-fledged, like, kind of fun year, you know? First game of the season, Scal Labrini, 20 points on 5 for 9 shooting. His career high, by the way, like, in his actual NBA career was 29. So, uh, he's gonna beat that out very, very soon. Ah, yes. Finally. Minutes. I think he's actually on the All-Star team. Yeah, no. Pascal Siakam, 7-time All-Star. Oh, boy. Look at the most improved player race. Uh, yeah, he's not here. But he's averaging 18 points on 44% shooting and 43 from downtown, the second most on the team. More than 91 overall Jalen Brown. This man is just chucking up shots and he's making a lot of them. Finally, a breakthrough. A very, very big one at that. You don't just go from, you know, I mean, reserves to 18 points a game very often. But what do you expect when you have a 99 potential? Something had to happen eventually. Luca MVP, because uh, he's Luca, you know? Hello, Mr. Mullen, Glenn, and Darrell Armstrong, coach of the year. All-NBA third team, Frederick Dupin. Behind Scalabrini's 19 points per game and a season high 44. Oh my God. This man is Jesus. Finally, we are the fifth seed and he is starting now and oh my God, he's guarding Giannis for God's sake. Of course he's guarding Giannis. Just for the record, he's the same overall as a power forward and a small forward. So yeah, no, no really change here, you know? So it's 2-2, two, two, you know, I'd like to see some action. Oh guys, we're in the Simcast live. No one would ever intend to do that. That mode has been horrible ever since they introduced it. Come on, Scott. I want to see some game time action. Okay, it's not this game. You thought the name Antetokounmpo was bad? Yeah, how about Diamanamanama on the same team? He's averaging 23 points per game in the playoffs and put up 38 in the last game on 12 for 6 shooting on Giannis's head. Yeah, he's kind of good, but uh, it might be over for us, right? We forced the game 7. Scal 21. Game 7 in Milwaukee. Yep, we won. I was honestly just fiending for some Scalabrini gameplay, but uh, it'll have to wait. Second round, Philadelphia. Well, uh, oh my god, we're up 3 0. Oh, they're actually not that good. What the hell? You just got Ben and uh, Precious. Yeah, um, the effort was Precious for sure. Uh, we're going to the conference finals. Frederick and D'Angelo. That's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I just realized that uh, Scalabrini's on the bench again. I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know? He's getting that 30 ish minutes a game. So, 2 1 in Miami's favor. 2 2. Close game. But we live for. Kinda. 2 1. Scal, 24 points on 24 shots. That's the spirit. We need one more game for a championship. Well, finals berth. We did it. Scalabrini, 19 points on 6 for 13 shooting. And we're going to the finals against the Pelic. Oh, God. What? Didn't this team have Cade Cunningham, Zion, and, um, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Kuminga is right there. Now they have Cat and Kuminga. That's pretty good still. And Scalabrini's first ever year with uh, increased roll. He uh, loses his first game in the finals. But hey, he had 19 and 10. Game two. Uh, oh, God. We lost another game. Scal, 20 points. But uh, Kuminga and Cat combined for like 87. That's not correct math at all. I, I wasn't even trying. Yep, yeah, we're going down 3 0. Fantastic. Scal, 6 for 10 shooting. So uh, no no mistakes here from him, really. But yeah, we probably lost the series. Yep, it's over. The Pelicans swept us 4 0, led by Kuminga being Kuminga. Scalabrini, 8 for 17 shooting in the final game. He averaged 22 per game in the playoff run with 6 rebounds. So uh, yeah, he's pretty good. How am I going to complain? We made the finals in Scal's first ever year with a roll. Alec Burks retired. Melvin. What if it was called Melvin's room instead of Marvin's room? Yeah, this is how you know I shouldn't be up a Brian Scalabrini career simulation when I'm reconsidering Drake's titles. Oh yeah, by the way, he's a free agent, I think, right? Yep, he can go wherever the hell he wants. Where will that be? I don't know. But he is one of the better rated players in this entire free agency. I mean, he's the same overall as Julius Randle. Okay, that's not really a good thing. And he's still restricted? How is this even possible? You're in year number like 46. I don't know, just get it over with. Likely returning to Boston, right? Why is my thing lagging so much? Look at this. What the hell is this? They let him go. He has no team? Oh boy. The man is looking for a super, super, super amount of money. And nobody signed him. Granted, he's gonna get signed eventually on a minimum minimum or something like that, but um, it's gonna take a minute, or at least longer than we thought. But hey, he's an 87 in case you didn't see. Beginning of the season, uh, you still got a team, maybe not? Alright, we gotta simulate some more weeks. And he got signed. Where to, my good sir? The Lakers. Oh, boy. Cade Cunningham, Kevin Durant, and Brian Scalabrini. Yeah, we're about to have fun. From the Celtics to the Lakers, that's how you get revenge. Granted, Katie's gotta be like 47 years old. 41, actually, I'm closer than I thought. Hello, James Borrego. This is our new squad for a uh, season number whatever the hell for to be exact if the season ended today there's no way i'd re-sign with the lakers i am irked well all right i mean they're the only team that gave you an opportunity you know and you still got a long way to go before
$44.99. For the record, he now has a bunch more shooting badges like a bronze dead eye, son of the big burly basketball guy, one time all star. Scalabrini's averaging 17 and 8 a game, pretty good for me. But uh, we're actually not that good for a team with Kevin Durant, Kate Cunningham, and Scalabrini. The ultimate big three. Hello, Greek. Sergi Postnov, Trent, and Ime Udoka. Brian Scalabrini, all NBA third team. After so many years of struggle, the man was drafted in 2020. He didn't even appear in an NBA game until 2026. And at 30 years old, here he is winning his first ever, well, you know, getting his first ever recognition. But 18 points, eight rebounds a game. Had a season high of 39 points, 16 rebounds, five blocks, six steals, and seven assists. But uh, yeah, we missed the playoffs. We were bad. Straight up. Horrible. Pelicans got another ring led by Kuminga. Sorry, Knicks. It happens to the best of us. Oh, God. Speaking of what happens to the best of us, uh, well, no, this, this makes no sense. Kevin Durant retired, leaving us with, uh, well, you know, not Kevin Durant. DeAndre Bembry retired. Oh, yeah, that's true. Scalabrini might actually leave real quick. I forgot about that whole leaving thing. Uh, yeah, where the hell is he gonna go? All right, Scal. He has signed with a team. And what team is that? The Cleveland Cavaliers on a three-year $114 million deal. He finally got a bag. Oh, boy, he's got a player option, too. Cleveland, this one's for you. You get the GOAT. Or at least the GOAT maybe in, like, a year from now. Brian Scalabrini, 91 overall. The new leader of the franchise of Cleveland, that is. He's described as a three-level scorer. Makes sense. Although, I have no clue what the hell that means. Gold Hot Zone Hunter, a bunch of silver badges, some bronze ones, you know. And bronze pass fake maestro. Oh, boy. Season number five. Hello, Taylor Jenkins. He's playing 29 minutes a game. This guy's actually playing more because, uh, well, uh, he was the first pick in the draft, like, this year. So, I, I guess I get it a little bit. But, hey, he doesn't have as high potential as Scal. You guys better get your priorities straight, please. The first time he's ever actually leading a team. And, well, uh, first game. Uh, oh, okay. He got outshined. He shot three for four. Oh, God. It's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment here. Come on, Scal. I've never done this before, but, uh, screw it. I want to shoot. Ah, Scalabrini, right corner three. Bang. Oh, please just hit one. Okay, cool, cool, green, great. I'm out of here. Yes, that's right. That's our intimidating player that's supposed to be a 99 overall. He will be in due time as we're 11 and 2. Um, is he going like God mode right now? Uh, yeah, 21.7 rebounds a game. Great. Brian Scalabrini, somehow not an all star. Wendell Gilbert, one time all star. Giannis, we don't care because we definitely got the coach of the year. 63 wins. Why is every team he goes to just becomes pretty good at the basketball thing? No all NBA teams this year, but it's fine, you know, because we are the uh, well, top of the top. Kyrie, I would request if you move real quick. Brevin, you can't guard Scal, can you? Here we go. Clean 4 0 sweep. Scal already averaging 29. 35 in the first game, 31 in the second game. Yep, he's good. Second round, um, oh my god. Forget Giannis. Third round, please, Giannis, just let us go by. We are in the finals. Scalabrini beats down Giannis with 27 points per game, clutching up from his team with 60% from three. He is not missing. And who the hell we play in the finals? It's the Warriors. Dion Black and, and, and Alex Tedekumpo. Okay, and Mitchell Robinson and Jalen Green. That's a pretty good team. Game one, we blow him out. 24 for Scal. Game two, we blow him out. 18 for Scal. Game three, we blew him out again. Scal, 33 and 10 on 14 for 24 shooting. Game four in Golden State, and yeah, it's over. It is over. The Cleveland Cavaliers, despite Jalen Green's 46 points, are not going to lose a game in the finals. Can we get a shot, please? I want to green a shot with Scal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Finally, the eight second violation works to my benefit. Really, they sub my guy out? Nope, I'm taking the time out. You thought I was joking. No, here we go. Randall Chandler. Oh boy. Here we go. Scalabrini. Come over here. We're running the pick and fade. Scal, get an open. He, why'd you just roll? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Post up. Ah, Scal, fade away shot. And it's going to miss because I don't know the time on this computer thing. No, I, I just don't know how to time his jump shot. His jump shot is awful. That is going to do it. The NBA champion Cleveland Cavaliers. The first time was led by LeBron and the second time was led by Brian Scalabrini. He may not have reached his full 99 just yet, but uh, he, he, he's doing something. And he's still like 31 years old. Gal, yeah, thank you very much. Finals MVP himself. 27, 6, and 3 a game in the playoffs. 14 in the last game. We're not going to talk about it though. 22 and 8 in the finals. Yep. He has achieved what everyone wants to achieve. And that is, well, uh, make a roster. And then win a championship. Gio Gio's Diamante Manama retired. We just forced two head coaches into retirement. So you're telling me that Tim Hardaway Jr. retired and he didn't make the Hall of Fame? 2K, what the hell are you on? Congratulations, Orlando. You'll never beat uh, Brian though. Scalabrini is now a 94 overall. He has Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter along with his Hall of Fame volume shooter. You know what he's known for at this point. He's had this since the G League and he has bronze defensive leader. Fantastic. He also has gold clutch shooter and gold dead eye and gold catch and shoot. Very scalish. Can he repeat though? This is season number whatever the hell. Does it even matter at this point? He's like 32. You get it. Yeah, so technically season six. Fantastic. And he's playing 34 minutes a game. They're finally realizing his talent, you know? Don't think he led you to a championship or anything. Team Scalabri- 
Yeah, you would have thought. Maybe, though, in like a year or two. Oh, my God. He may not be the team captain, but Brian Scalabrini is a one-time all-star and a one-time starter. He is number two in the MVP race with 25 and 11 a game. Oh, my God. The leap we've been waiting for at 31 years old, right after winning a championship. He he's just carrying. It's that simple. I got nothing else. Brian Scalabrini, the most valuable player. I can't take this. Big ups to the fans right here in Cleveland. This isn't my MVP. It's ours. That sounds exactly like something he would say in a post game. I'd like a nice payday with my next contract. Yeah, I'd hope so. You're the MVP. And uh, yeah, we won 68 games. We almost won 70 games for God's sake. DeAndre Hunt, you're a great defender, but can you guard Brian Scalabrini? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We're down 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two, three, two. Oh God, it's 3-3. Three, three. Here the hell we go. The unexpected is here. We lost in the first round to the Pistons as the one seed. Scal kind of choked. Put up 20 and 10 a game, but on a 30% from three after we're getting accustomed to him shooting 44. That's not the best look. I mean, like game, whatever the hell this is, he had 10 points on two for 13 shooting. So, all right, all right. I see. I understand. Um, No, I really don't because we won the championship last year, you know? And now you're the MVP and we lost and the Jazz won it led by Evan Mobley. Like, come on now, Scal. You're better than Evan Mobley. I mean, they did have LaMelo Ball and DeAndre Aiden. And oh my God, why was this team so good as the AT? Jeez, why did I not even realize that? Malik Beasley retired. Of course, he made the Hall of Fame. Orlando, congrats again. Stevie Landry. Brian Scalabrini. 96 overall. He now has Hall of Fame catch and shoot, clutch shooter, hot zone hunter, volume shooter. No, yeah, that's it. Gold pass fake maestro. He's officially entered God mode, considering that he's a reigning MVP, you know? So, season number seven, which would basically be season number like 12 or 13, but who the hell cares? Lawrence O'Neal. Brian Scalabrini, back to back all star starter. And once again, number two in the MVP race. But I have a weird feeling Lamelo's going to win it this year. Oh my God. Why? Why are you so good? I understand that you're good. Like, that was the whole point. But, like, why are you, like, winning MVPs at this much of a rate? You're not even 99 yet. 24 and 11 a game as we won 64 games as a team, you know, because that's the point of basketball. Elton Black, Terrence Clark, Douglas Clark, and Johnny J. Alfred Rodman, all defensive second team. Brooklyn, uh, we beat you down a couple years ago, you know. You also had Kyrie, and now he's retired, I guess. Come on now, right? We can beat you, please, please. Oh my God. Why is it 3 to 2? Jesus, we won in game 7. Okay, well, it was by 20, though. Scal, 14 and 19. Second round, Indiana. Can we just win real quick? That'd be incredible. Fantastic. Uh, it's 2 2. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty even matchup, I guess. Not really. Scal's just really good. Is that really why we're the first seed? Like, Scal's just that good at basketball? Yeah, I guess so. 23 and 16 in game 6. FYI, his season high was 45, and his season high rebounds was 21. He's averaging 27 and 13 in the playoffs to lead us to the conference finals against, well, uh, Giannis. Wait, what? No. Oh, I guess he's gone. Hello, Bam and Will Reed. Can we beat down Bam and Will Reed real quick, please? Thank you. Right. No, never mind. Game 7. And we won. Scalabrini, 30 and 12. He had a 30 and 20 game against Brooklyn and also dropped 47 against them. Jesus. And now, well, uh, we're playing the Denver Nuggets led by um Kobe White. Oh, God. They have Bull Bull. Instantly a scary sight. Okay, cool. We won. Wait, no, we didn't win game one. We lost. I don't know why I thought we were the Nuggets. Scal, good effort, I guess. Bull Bull. My God, we can't stop the man. Okay, we definitely won game two, right? Yep, there we go. Bradley, Cavaliers blast the Nuggets. Scal, thank you. Um, yeah, we're gonna win this one. Fantastic. Scal, once again, doing Scal things. We won another game. We were up three to one against the Nuggets. We have a close game on the verge of a ring. Don't know why Scal isn't in. Hopefully, he'll be in soon. Augustine goes right. Augustine down to Dante. Dante layup is good. Wood with the ball. Wood over to Williams. Williams with the jab step. Open three by Williams. It's off. Kobe White going to the basket out to Augustine. He gets the easy ISO to the basket all the way. Blocked away. Over to the corner. Clark open for three and that is off. Rebounded again by the Nuggets. Oh my god. They didn't even need to take a shot. They just bullied the hell out, hell out of us. He missed the free throw and he, he hit the second one. Alright, great. It's Yeah, this one's over. More than likely. Jordan player of the game. Eight points with one for 11 shoot. What the hell did I just see? Here we go. Wood with the ball. Wood screen over to Bradley. Bradley disgusting shot. Misses. Rebounded by O'Neal. O'Neal back out to Bradley. Over to Wood. Over to LaWall. Wide open three. It's off again. Rebounded by O'Neal again. LaWall another three and it doesn't even matter. He hit it but it doesn't matter because we lost. Get me the hell out of here. That was disgusting. Scal tried. Here we go. All we need is one more game you know. And we ch we're choking. We lost another game despite Scal's 30 points. We're going to a game seven. Basketball is a game of runs. And well we must have won the run game I guess. Because we won. Scal with 16 points on 4 for 12. We won't talk about that. As he leads his Cleveland Cavaliers. Why did I just draw a foul? Why, why do I do these things to myself? For God's sake, it's not even Scal. And I'm ruining his free throw percentage. Brian Scalabrini and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Second NBA championship in Scal's second MVP season. Incredible. Outstanding. Immaculate. Impeccable. Adjectives. The man is a straight up beast. From failing to get on rosters to a finals MVP twice. Ah yes, there he is with his trophy. He looks very enthralled. Hey, hey, hey. Good old 
coach. I forgot your name. Already went over the stats. Scal, 21 per game with 10 rebounds in the finals. Not even that great, but he's still the leader of the team, you know? 33 years old and, uh, well, two rings and two MVPs. Jabari Parker retired. Our former coach, James Bray, goes out of here. So the Cavs didn't retire. Kyrie's number two. Well, and by the way, uh, I believe Scal can leave right now, right? Yeah, uh, he's a free agent. The Cavs have his sixth highest offer. He's trying to go back to LA. The man wants to live his life somewhere not in Cleveland. But what the hell is this decision going to be? Oh, he said to hell with all that other stuff. Unless he was restricted and I didn't realize that uh, he came back on a three-year, well, four-year deal. Fantastic. I mean, we did just kind of win a championship, you know. Sounds good to me. 98 overall. He has Hall of Fame catch and shoot, clutch shooter, hot zone hunter, pump fake maestro, steady shooter, and volume shooter on Hall of Fame. Wait, I didn't, didn't I already say it was Hall of Fame? I don't know. Gold defensive leader and bronze pick dodger. And not one finishing badge, but who the hell cares? He's a shooter. He also has silver range extender now. Season number eight. Can he repeat this time around? I don't know. If, ask me in like 10 minutes. 35 minutes a game. Know your worth, King. Used to be playing like 25. And then he won MVP. Team Greg. Who the hell is Greg? Greg Milton, of course. One time All Star and one time captain. Makes sense. Scalabrini, three time All Star, three time starter. I almost said tree. The inner Trinidadian almost came out of me. He's number five in the MVP voting this time around. So I guess, you know, he's taking a little bit more of a team approach. Well, he always has been. But either way, they're number one in the conference. So we're not complaining. FYI, he's the second highest rated player in the league after Luca. Oh, Jesus Christ. How the hell do you manage to do these things? He was just fifth. The man averaged 26 and 9 a game to win his third MVP. Third straight at that. And he led his team to 67 wins. Forget the coach. He's not doing anything, probably. It's Scal, for God's sake. He's probably coaching teams like LeBron. Wolf. Hard Orlando. I don't even want to know who the hell is on your team. Can we just beat you real quick? Thank you. Indiana, same goes for you. I would not like to see your team. Incredible. Toronto, I really don't want to see you either. Fantastic. We're in the championship against Utah. Now, Utah, you can get it my uh, courtesy of actually looking at your team. Ingram and Mobley. Right. I made fun of you a couple years ago for Mobley being good at basketball. We win game one. FYI, Scal is averaging 27 and 8 in the playoff run. The immaculate playoff run for the most part. And he dropped 27, 8, and 6 on 11 for 17 in this game. Game two, another win led by Scal's 28 and 10. Game three, yet another win led by Scal's 30. And game four, Brian Scalabrini, the underdog of the century. Oh, can I get a shot real quick? He's in a point guard. Here we go. Limitless. Why did he just fade so deep? Well, I almost said it. The Cleveland Cavaliers 4 0 sweep the Jazz. Ah, yes. Look at the king himself. Scal is Scal. We know who he is by now. Now we're just testing to see how incredible he really is after being a 40 overall just a few seasons. Well, I mean like 15 seasons ago. 28 points and 10 rebounds per game in the finals. Now Seer Little retired. He didn't make the Hall of Fame. Scal is just about a 99. He's like right there, you know, with the little morale boost thing. Well, actually, no, he is a 99. That, that's a player progression thing. Yeah, great. He finally did it. Hall of Fame volume. Hall of Fame steady, which actually I think is a bad badge, but whatever. I don't control anything. Hall of Fame pump fake maestro. By the way, it can't be that bad if he's winning three MVPs. Hall of Fame hot zone. Hall of Fame corner specialist, Hall of Fame clutch shooter, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, gold pass fake maestro, the best of them all. No surprise with Brian Scalabrini being named finals MVP. What a performance. Season number nine. Team Brian. He drafted Greg Milton. He's number two in the MVP voting again with 28 and nine a game, but that's probably his best stats ever or something like that. So he should win it, right? We're 45 and eight for God's sake. The man, the myth, the legend. Fourth MVP. Fourth straight for 27, nine and three a game, shooting 99% from the line. Barry, Douglas, and we won 69 games a season. He's Jesus. What else I gotta say? Come on, Chicago. You wanna just move real quick for us? Thank you very much. Clean 4-0. Toronto, you're a great team, but probably not better than us, right? Please no. Oh, God, we're down 3-1. We lost by, uh, yeah. We lost by six points in game five. Scal shot six for 24 in this game, which is not good, you know? But he averaged 27 and eight on a 52% shooting in the playoffs. Not bad. But here the hell we are in the, well, eliminating the semifinals. As the Raptors went on to win the championship. Well, that's your 2035 season. Jaleel Okafor went out on top. 99 overall officially, you know, solidified. He actually has finishing badges now. Relentless finisher and slithery finisher. I think he developed tireless shooter to Hall of Fame. I don't know. I can't keep track. And bronze rim protector. Season number 10. All right, yeah, team Brian should probably be a pretty consistent thing for now on, right? He drafted good old Frederick. Still number two in the MVP. We know what that means. He's probably going to win it somehow, some way. Five MVPs though. Imagine he breaks the record of MVPs with like half of the amount of time that most people have. Here we are. Number five. He's one away from tying Kareem and Kareem played like 22 years. Zach, Chase, Douglas, Dusty, and Taylor Jenkins, 66 wins, aka Scalabrini, 66 wins. All right, can we just uh, win this year, please? Oh God, it's Toronto again, but we actually beat him this time around. Unless it wasn't Toronto and I'm having short-term memory loss. Oh my God, we almost lost to the Knicks. We won in game seven by uh, almost 20. Miami, you're the second seed, so I'll give you some consideration. Uh, Frederick Dupin, oh God. Here we go. Uh, and we 4-0 swept them. Oh boy, Utah. Another team that we have 4-0 swept in the past. And we're up 3-0 because I clicked simulate round because I felt like it. Yes. I'm not even going to jump in. I don't feel like it. We are on a roll. We are in a stride. Scalabrini 5 for 14. That doesn't really sound like a 
Fortnite Shrive, but it is a Shrive because we won a, another championship. The man has four, four rings. He came over to Cleveland and ever since he's absolutely dominated. This is the opportunity he needed. I'm so happy he didn't leave. I feel exhilarated. I would hope so. I'd hope your morale is at 100. He has a career high of 53 points, but this season he dropped 50, 28, 9, and 4 in the finals. Fantastic. And uh, I think he re-signed or something like that because, uh, yeah, he's got still got two more years left in his deal. Marquise Chris retired. Wasn't David Fisdale the head coach of the Kings? So does that mean that he kicked out Luke Walton and Luke Walton came back in the future? Or am I just completely bugging? All right, Scal, you're 36. How much longer can you keep this up for? He even has consistent finisher on bronze now. I don't know how many Hall of Fame badges he has in shooting, but he has a lot. Season number 11. We have a 75 overall starting point guard. What the hell? Shout out to Martin Bradley. This guy's pretty good at the whole basketball thing, you know? Good second option for this team for a lot, a lot of years. This isn't some sort of Jacob Underwood where the guy just is an all 99 overall type of player. No, he just naturally progressed to a 99 and um, he's incredible. He's better than anybody. Yeah, we get it, Brian. You got teams now. You're the all-star captain every year. Imagine only making six all-star teams and you have five MVPs and six of those. Actually, wait, he might actually win another MVP. Brian Scalabrini, the most valuable player as uh, you get the stats by now, but the crazy part is we won 70 games. Good old Taylor. Son of Steve and brother of Lori, Jerry Harvey, Juan Ortiz. All right. Even Martin Bradley's making all NBA teams. Here the hell we go. Toronto, you want to lose again real quick? Thank you very, very much. Indiana, please. Thank you again. How are we so good? I don't know. Philadelphia, what? Oh my God, you almost came back. We're up 3-0 and almost blew it, but uh, yeah, we won by almost 40 in the last game. Scalabrini, 25 and 10 in the playoffs. Portland Trailblazers, you guys have a uh, fake LaMarcus Aldridge. Your team is absolutely awful compared to ours. Actually, wait, you have LaMelo? LaMelo's an 81. How do you make it this far? Yep, we're up 3-1 just like that. Cool little simulate round and uh, we're dominating again. You know, this game's actually kind of close. Maybe we want to jump in. Oh boy, they got a chance to tie it. Come on, Scal, just clamp them up. Defend all five positions, because why the hell not? Screen there. Scal to the basket. Oh my, what? I love how I said Scal to the basket. I meant that Scal was going to block the shot away. I don't know how the hell he didn't. Give that guy a wingspan. How did he miss that? Scalabrini, you have a chance to win a championship right here with uh, the first time we ever get to see you maybe shoot at basketball. Here we go, Scal. Scal going right. Scal to the basket. Oh my god. He missed. You're joking. That is the most Scalabrini way to ever end out something. Ah, going left right by you. Pull up. Look at the determination on his face as he releases the ball. And this is where he knew it was not going in. And this is where he realized I am white. I have no vertical and will not be getting this offensive rebound. Now we need a defensive stop. Eight seconds left. Portland running some sort of play, but uh, here we go. Portland step back three. Who the hell is that? I don't know, but he missed. Yeah, uh, this one's over. Yep, we lost. Scal dropped 32, but uh, yeah, came in the losing effort because he missed a shot from like one foot away. Uh, we better blow a lead. Well, hey, it's close. Nixon for three. That's green. Jesus, why the hell did he hit that? We actually need a bucket here, and Scalabrini is the man to go to, right? Or not. Just throw the ball away. Oh, Scal with the rebound. Oh, wait, that's not a rebound. What the hell I'm talking about? Yeah, he missed a shot. Lamella with the ball because it's Lamella ball. Ha, huh? get it. It wasn't even a joke. His name is just annoying. Lamelo going to the basket. Out to Gafford. Gafford for three. He misses. Rebounded by whoever the hell that is. All right, cool. He hit the first free throw. The second free throw. Uh, Law, thank you very much, please. Sykes for three. That's off. Rebounded by whoever the hell that is. And that is going to do it. The Cleveland Cavaliers. I've honestly lost count of how many rings this is. I think it's four. That's a lot of rings. For A, the Cavaliers. And B, Brian Scalabrini. Oh, he didn't get finals MVP. It was to uh, whatever the hell this guy's name is. I forgot. I acknowledged him earlier. He's cracking the bottle over his head. Look at you, good old Brian. Fantastic. Why does he always underperforming like the last game of the series. I don't know. Today, he averaged 26 and 10 in the playoffs. Martin, great job. Kevin Porter Jr. retired. And uh, I guess he's kind of regressing now, but not really. I mean, he just went down a little bit. I think his badges are kind of set in stone. Are we going to be mad at all? No, not at all. He's incredible. Oh, it's five championships. Forget four. Six MVPs and five rings. Jesus. Season number 12. Kuminga and Scalabrini, the kings of the league. Good old Brooke Johnson and Don Mills. My God, he's averaging 30 and 11. He's just getting better and better. He's like 38. Ah, uh, yes. King Scalabrini has set the record for MVPs in a career. Taylor Jenkins, 67 wins with the team. You know, that's how it works. Yeah, his best, well, almost his best. I don't know. You, you decide. Here we go. I'm simulating straight down the playoffs. Are we going to lose in the first round? Oh my God, we almost did. All right, uh, great. Second round, we went 4-1. Third round, it's 2-2. And we went 4-2. We're in the finals against Luka Doncic, Trey Young, and the Mavericks. That's one hell of an ironic duo. So we're up 3-0, just like that. Scal, 29 points. He averaged 30. 31 and 11 in this playoff run, absolutely dominating. The Cleveland Cavaliers, championship number six for Scalabrini. The man has his Jordan year. I think he won the six and eight years, right? So that's exactly his Jordan year. Trey Young tried, but it didn't work. Because Scalabrini, the god, you see it. We know what he does. Finals MVP once again. Oh my god, he averaged 36 and 11 in the finals. Well, it was only four games. But yeah, he dropped 44 in game two. Sekou retired. Scalabrini, 30 years old. He actually did get more badges. Imagine Brian Scalabrini being an acrobat. Seven MVP. Six championships going into year.
year number 13, Alex Antetokounmpo and Brian Scalabrini. The Kings, Helmut Hoffman, one-time All-Star. Scal is still Scal. My God. I don't, I just, we get it. We get it, Brian. You're God. All you needed was 10 years to set the record, or less than 10 years. Uh, well, it's been 10 years since he got his first real opportunity. And in those 10 years, yeah, we get it. Glenn, Conrad House, and Taylor Jenkins. We got 63 wins again. How many coach of the years does that guy have? He must be going to pay 30 million a year to be a coach. Just for Brian to probably be coaching the team. All right, Boston, here the hell we go. Um, somehow we're down 3-2 in the first round. Okay, we still won somehow. Second round, 3-2. We win again. Third round, Detroit. Teams kind of started to scare me. So, um, Stuart Drake, you want to just lose real quick? Nope, we lost. Scalabrini, 28-12 in the playoffs. Uh, yeah, he played really, really well. I guess the team just kind of fell off this year. Well, Nicholas Simon, finals MVP. Yeah, he did get six rings in eight years. He literally is Jordan. Granted, no two three-peat, but uh, he had one three-peat. Nefali, Dante retired. Brad Stevens quit. I'm not going to front. They just put him in the Hall of Fame for no reason a year early and it just confused the hell out of me but he didn't retire yet so uh i thought i should just mention that i don't know what the hell type of glitch that was congrats spurs you have the top two picks one of them you stole from your texas rival my heart is here in cleveland let's work on hammering out a contract extension season number 14 the man is 39 he's gonna turn 40 in a couple months that's how birthday works you know birthdays i can't speak hey, look who it is an underwood offspring chris underwood one time all-star oh my god 39 year old brian scalabrini's having his best season ever with 32 and 12. You can't make this stuff up. There the hell he goes again. Nine MVPs straight, Kelvin. Whoa. This is the first time I've ever seen someone not name a, what was it, Taylor Jenkins coach of the year? Yeah. Jordan Long coach of the year. All right, hold on. We're the third seed? Oh yeah, just get it over with. Well, we win it out of the first round. Second round made out of there too, and we're about to lose in the third. Well, the Pistons, they got uh, Stuart Drake. That's the man that's about to beat us in the conference finals, a straight 4-0 sweep. Brian Scalabrini's 55 points is a new Cavaliers playoff record. And he says, as he drops 33 and 13 per game in the playoffs. I've done everything I can do with my time in the league. It's time to call it a career at 40 years old. Congratulations, Detroit. That is officially going to do it. After 14 years pro, Brian Scalabrini, 40-year-old undrafted, uh, well, just God, has retired from the NBA. He averaged 25 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 1 block on 50% from the field and 44 from 3 in his career, along with 97 from the line. He's in 961 out of 1017 games although he didn't play in a lot of games as well you know like for the first seven years of his career 435 double doubles one triple double he had a career high of 53 points 10 threes made 21 rebounds 13 assists six deals and six blocks and well the moment of truth in just basically 13 years pro where the hell did he rank 74th all time in total points that's what happens when you have to progress from a 40 to a 99 61st in threes 39th in free throws made. He honestly didn't have a lot of insane single game records. But when it comes to the Cavaliers, no single season point records, but uh, we already saw. 55 points in the playoffs is the most ever in Cavaliers history. More than LeBron ever put up. Second most field goals in a single game in the regular season. Third most threes in a game in the regular season with 10. Fourth most free throws with 18. Third most threes made in the playoffs with 9. Second most rebounds in the playoffs with 24. So despite being a regular season god with 9 MVPs, he had an even better playoff resume. Last but not least, definitely not least, the award history. Nine MVPs, six championships, nine all-star appearances, nine first-team All-NBA, one third-team All-NBA. Yep, that's it. That's where it ends, but uh, did it really need to go any further? The guy won nine MVPs and six championships. Basically, his complete, you know, free control started when he went to Cleveland, and well, he spent 10 years, and in those 10 years, for God's sake, the guy won nine straight MVPs. That's dominance. The second he finally got solidified. So, as obviously we are going to see real quick, that yes, he is going to make the Hall of Fame, but uh, he didn't get his jersey number retired. I don't know why. Actually, he might have already had it. Yeah, never mind. I did it last year, I guess. I don't know. 2K's been glitching like that recently. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, that is going to do it. This is honestly the best you could really imagine a 40 to 99 overall challenge even going. Yeah, he, he uh, I mean, nine MVPs, for God's sake. He's like Michael Jordan on roids. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. Let me know what you want to see next. If you've been here for this whole entire video and you haven't subscribed yet, we could just mutually agree that you probably want to and you might as well, you know. You didn't just waste this much time on this video just to not subscribe. You get it, right? Great. Shout out to my soul social medias because someone said they were really hard to find i don't really think so but there you go they're in the description and uh it's it's literally just time click you can click on one of the things on the screen right now to watch some more videos that i've concocted and i am out of here but